Well, hello, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your love reading for mid-February right through to mid-March 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. I'm doing things differently for February. Um, so for um, this particular reading, I'm going to do three piles. One is a love reading for singles. Then the next pile will be singles who are thinking about someone or separated from somebody and they want to uh, see what's going on there. And the third pile will be for those who are in a relationship already and want to see what the dynamics, what's going on there as well. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Uh, they will be shorter energies. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guide. Woo. Wow. Uh, straight away, we have the Empress and we have the devil. Okay, so that's an interesting one. This is for singles who are looking for love. You are gaining back your power there as you move through this time period that I've set. Uh, a lot of abundance around you, Taurus. Now this is your card, Taurus and Libra card energy. And the Empress is about uh, confidence, okay? It's about radiating beauty. It's about transformation. It's really about owning that power and um, sort of, um, they give me the word erecting, I don't know why, but anyway, they're saying erecting healthy boundaries, okay? Uh, strong self-esteem. So I feel like very much you are in a period of waiting, uh, but during that waiting period for love, you are self-caring a lot, okay? So I feel like um, perhaps, um, you know, there's routines being put in place here where you're trying to nourish yourself further with soul food or, you know, beauty regimes, uh, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about looking at after yourself with self-care. The Empress is a time of creation as well, so uh, you may be um, thinking of creative ways to get out there and meet somebody new. Uh, it's very difficult, especially when we've got a pandemic going on, to actually get out there, so you may be looking at different avenues. Um, we will go deeper and find out what's going on there, but um, it's almost like you're nourishing yourself to take away any fear or anything that gives you lack of confidence because the devil shows up to um, illuminate, um, you know, uh, things that you may have been addicted to in the past, the same sort of people who had toxics, you know, uh, energy about them or because uh, this is a Capricorn energy here as well. Uh, the devil represents, um, you know, obsessions or control or gravitating towards the same sort of cycle of people, things that bind you. So you may be trying to detach yourself from uh, negativity or uh, similar relationships that actually go nowhere. Also, they're giving me here an energy of fear of love. So you may have... Um, you may have been really badly um, burned by someone in the past in a relationship and it really knocked your confidence. It may have even made you feel like um, you lost a piece of yourself and became a little bit... Um, now, I don't feel like you would ever uh, admit this to anybody, maybe only to yourself. Uh, so please don't shoot the messenger when I say this because this is what I'm getting. It's almost like you're very confident normally in everything day to day, but when it comes to love, you may have started to feel dependent upon others because you may have come into being with a narcissist who maybe robbed you of your confidence and your s sort of self-assurance, but also of your... Um, it's not of your personality. It's almost like they chipped away at you in a way that left you uh, scared to reinvest in love in another area, but you're gaining your confidence back. And it feels like um, you're recognizing that actually whoever damaged um, your confidence in love or if you you were scared to open up and be vulnerable in love, um, as you can see, the, the moon is in the background there, which indicates um, there's illusion here. Uh, there's illusion of fear because it's creating a big old shadow of the devil there. But actually, when you look at the root of it, it's just a plain old innocuous pair of hands. Someone may have um, presented something false to you and made you feel like um, you could not trust. Because when you got the moon card as well in the background there, there's a mistrust. And something may have come to light there, which made you mistrust love um, or even um, made you as I said, made you feel like you were not confident. There is a coldness towards love that you've been trying to re-activate, um, find your mojo to go out there and find love. And also you're recognizing that there was a bit of a drama going on there um, that you need to eradicate or detach yourself from uh, in your love life. Um, I feel like you're definitely freeing yourself up and becoming super aware that actually, Taurus, you are beautiful. You are caring, you're nurturing, you're supportive of others. 
and you bring a lot to the table when it comes to a, a love relationship, regardless of what other people may have tried to control you with or tell you in the past. Um, it was all sort of secrets and lies. And you, you may have found yourself, um, you know, um, feeling kind of, um, how can I put that? Just not your usual self because of something that happened in the past. Now, let's go and see what is the heart of the matter. I'm using the psychic tarot to get the heart of the matter. Whoa. We have rejoice and celebration. Now, this is the heart of the matter, okay? Perhaps relying on your friendship circle, uh, reaching out there to, uh, you know, celebrate the good things that you have going on in your life. And, uh, you know, this is a very strong circle of support. Um, now, this... I also feel like there's um, a wistful kind of energy, like oh, the good old days when you could all meet up together and party and, you know, those sort of things. Uh, but those things have been taken, as it were, um, you know, because of what's been going on around the world. So I feel also a nostalgia about this card. But what I really am getting as well is that you may have dealt with a third party situation in the past. Um, and uh, you may not have, um, I'm going to clarify this card, you may not have... Um, realized it until you were in deep with somebody okay thank you so much spirit guys can you please clarify that card temperance yeah it really uh, brought a lot of chaos there uh, someone was uh, emotionally draining uh this person was very disruptive energy here uh very impatient as well this person um i feel very much like um this person if they did not cheat on you in the past taurus i'm just getting and this is for singles just to let you know this pile is with singles looking for love now uh, I'll, I'll check to see what is coming for you uh, but they just want to sort of um, understand what it is, how you're feeling in this moment. Uh, there's an energy here that this person may not have even cheated on you, but may have uh, made you feel like there was some sort of competition for their affections. So it's like bravado. It's almost like they wanted to make you feel jealous, Taurus, and there may not have actually been anything going on at all, uh, but they liked to uh, present that image so that it kept you from walking away. It's almost like treat him mean to keep him keen. They're giving me that horrible sentence. Um, but that, that's an energy that I'm getting from someone you may have dealt with in the past. So it uh, made you feel like um, the relationship was out of balance. You had to give more um, in order to keep this person's attention. But actually what you what was underhanded was that this person was doing it on purpose. And I feel like you may have um, really freed yourself up from this. Um, I really feel like there was narcissistic behavior in the past with this person and they created that um, imbalance on purpose to keep you from, um, it's almost like to keep your attention away from something better because they knew that they were not, uh, when they stood next to you, you're the empress or the emperor, then you're, you're top energy, top notch energy right there. And um, they felt like they, next to you, that they were not enough. And I feel like um, they had some maybe toxic, uh, you know, they had some addictions there as well that were affecting the situation. So um, I feel like you really suffered in that and you may have sort of taken yourself out of the game. Now, let's see what the challenge here in this relationship. We got nine of pentacles. So I feel um, in terms of looking for love now, uh, it is a challenge because obviously, uh, you know, you're in a solitary energy. Nine of pentacles is a solo energy there. It is um, about, you know, gaining your financial security. And uh, you maybe have come a, a bit of a workaholic there, Taurus, as much as you can, burying your head in your finances. Because at the end of the day, you know, your finances can grow and build a solid foundation and it won't hurt you, right? So there's an energy here of you're planning for the future. We got how is in the background there there are two so it's almost like you're getting yourself financially stable in a position that when it is time for you to find the right one to uh, kind of settle down with that you're ready and that you bring a lot to the table you bring more than just finances to the table Taurus I know that you're actually um trying to make your way financially and this is about living a life of luxury and financial gain is coming towards you uh, but they're indicating that you may have buried your head in work because of what happened in the past. And you may, uh, you know, uh, th there is workaholism there that may have prevented you. Or you may have used, uh, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, you may have buried your head in work and used it as a bit of an excuse to hide away from love because love hurt you quite badly and you felt you were not ready. You needed to heal first. Now let's see what is coming towards you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful single Taurus what is coming towards them? Financial and material changes. Five of Pentacles, okay? So I can see that, you know, things are, um, it's almost like you're trying to remain stable in your situation. And um, when you get a Five of Pentacles, especially when it comes to love, sorry, they're just giving me something. Um, 
it's like they're showing me a gold chain and it's got a key on it okay so if that's you, you've got a key on your chain on a chain it feels like it's for around the neck uh, then there's something in this message for you now I feel like there's something in the key but I can't see what it is I can see that it is a key but I'm not getting like a zoom up shot of um, what it is they're showing me so either you've got a key that hangs around your neck and it's very important to you either it was given to you as a gift or it was you gifted it to yourself to remind you that uh, only um, someone really special gets the key to your lock the heart that you have okay so I feel like it was a representation of how you feel about yourself it's almost like a gift I feel maybe it is a gift to yourself to remind you how important and special you are and not everyone gets the key to or gets access to your heart okay so um, what they're giving me here though is um, you know dealing with abandonment issues or dealing with someone who may have walked away even though it says financial material changes I, I feel like you're trying to um, rise up through the ranks that hand is rising up there so you're burying your head in your work um, or looking for a job to do that um, and I feel very much like um, it's not that love is not particularly on your mind I feel like it is but I feel like you're being really practical about your situation and, and seeing that as things are um, in a certain second set of circumstances where you cannot get out there and find love, I feel very much like um, you're building what you can with your finances. But also I feel like there's abandonment issues that, uh, because Five of Pentacles is often about, you know, uh, loss, fi uh, abandonment issues and um, dealing with that. So perhaps healing that, yeah, heartache and loss, crown chakra, a deep knowing, conflict. And so I feel like um, you're processing this, energy okay uh, heartache and loss is three of swords there so very very um painful energy um that you're you're processing there uh sending you out a lot of love i feel also that um you may have had to even give yourself closure on this relationship in the past and it actually is very painful um we got crown chakra it actually blew your crown chakra wide open okay your, your guides are with you there is a very deep knowing here taurus that something better is coming for you um, and also I feel very much like it's enabled you to do something that you've always wanted to do so for example if you've just started doing something creatively for yourself um, I feel like you're gonna financially make a lot of money from that I feel like you're implementing some sort of passion project or um, and it may have just started but it's gonna rise up through the ranks and you're actually gonna uh, financially earn a lot of money there's a gift here that you've been given um, and you may have focused your your energy on that we also have another five okay so two fives are closing this energy co uh, conflict and defeat so it feels like you may have to actually walk away from this relationship um, and heal it uh, even though there's still like a glimmer of hope can we still make it work um, I mean I feel that you may feel that this is over okay five of swords indicates a sabotage kind of energy um, where this person that you had dealt with they are narcissistic and you know they tend to sabotage relationships not just yours Taurus but friendships and uh, family members I feel like this person is very conflicted and they like the drama and I feel like you're the one who's left reeling from it you're the one who got damaged in it okay so I feel like you're still processing that energy thank you so much for it, guys okay can we have an overall energy of what is to come solitude uh, suffering and silence and truth it I have to give it to you Taurus if I'm not seeing that it's coming your way uh, I will go to this deck just to clarify but we've got um, a solitary energy here you're embracing your pathway I feel like because we got we got two major arcanas as what is to happen this is faded energy okay so the truth of the situation this is a judgment card so um, you may be weighing up whether you give this person a second chance or not and Taurus when you're done you're done and I feel like you've had to actually give yourself that painful closure but I feel like this has blown your path wide open you know I feel like the truth of the matter is yes you're in a solitary energy that Virgo energy that hermit uh, energy and there's introspection here enlightenment and reflection but I feel very much like right now your situation is to uh, sort of work out your path what it is you're, you're meant to be here doing and I feel like there is a, a clarity in this a wake-up call for you that actually is making you look at your life purpose and see like for example it's like you recognize that no you don't have to do a nine to five job because you know a lot of things have happened in humanity in the last year and a bit with this um, pandemic and you're seeing that not all stable jobs that we all thought were nine to five are actually stable and you know you may have been finding a different route to make your money or 
find where your passion is or where your heart is and you recognize that life is too short to be doing things that you don't want. So I feel very much like you're weighing up the truth of the situation and seeing this person in the past. You may have given this person a lot of your time, this person that you uh, had a lot of love for and you suffered in silence, okay? But I feel like you need to overcome. It's like when you got a nine of swords energy, you know, um, this this relationship caused you a lot of anxiety or nightmares or being in a solitary energy it may have caused you that nervousness um, but you can see that you have to overcome some obstacles and there is a brighter day in the future there is definitely um, love coming for you but I feel like you're being called to a certain mission right now and you may feel like it as you can see we've got the book there it's wide open and there's a blank page so I feel very much like you're writing your life according to your own script okay you're doing a lot of healing you're coming back to yourself gaining your confidence and wondering where it is that your path lies um and i feel like you're in a financial kind of financial mode there uh they asked me to go one more i'm going to clarify with this thank you so much for guys going angels i feel like you're not going to just let any old person in it's going to be really special the next person who comes on in um but i feel like you're doing a lot of self-evaluating right now and building your own solid foundation First, from the ground up. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Anything further? Emotional withdrawal. Okay, so they're giving the same message, which is, you know, yes, this person left some sort of mark on your heart and they walked away. Um, but that's allowed you to do a lot of soul searching and thinking for the future as to what is to come. And I feel very much like you're being given a reset, but across the board not just in terms of your love life okay uh now there is love to come for you but i feel like the energy oh wow that is powerful uh the energy is the the dates that i've set so for example from now until uh mid-march there's this energy of you know you're working out what it is to do five of swords see sabotage energy this is uh you know this person may even come back and talk to you but it's still a self-sabotage energy this person is very fed up with their lot okay um they don't they take great joy in um how can i put that they take great joy in how would you like to receive thank you so much they take great joy in um manipulating others okay um now that's this is a relationship if it's done and done and this person you know they don't really talk to you anymore they've cut you out okay uh, I mean they may come back one more time I just feel like this person will come back one more time to talk uh, but I feel like you've probably blocked this person five of swords energy they got the death card energy here this needs to be closed down we got the tower in reverse because they're indicating you've dodged a bullet here okay um, I feel like there's there's new here you need to close down the cycle grieve this relationship come back to your center and then move on from there and rebuild I'm just gonna find out the energy after uh, Mar mid March after mid March when uh, Taurus is uh, in a more healing space. Whoa! I mean, did you just see? I hope you saw that because that just shot right up way over the camera and over the other side of the room. I gotta even go get that one moment, please. What is this card? Oh my gosh! You will not. I cannot believe it. This is incredible. I love it when that happens. Okay. Whew, this is powerful energy. Um, we got Ace of Cups. Boom. Okay, so all is not lost, but they're indicating here that there needs to be some healing here. There needs to be an end of the cycle. Shutting the, this down, death card, it is death to the past, okay? There is a new birth, a new beginning, and it is beautiful. Someone who is going to offer you their cup of love, someone who is going to offer a, a stable relationship, emotionally stable, um, that leads to some sort of higher level commitment or proposal, or, or some sort of marriage or, or union there so definitely um it is it will be surprise as well now the new person who's coming on in now they could have a, a, a water placement here um scorpio pisces cancer they're giving me the name keith <laughs> keith is yeah if that's your name or you're, you're you just met someone called keith or you will be meeting someone called keith um you know uh, please take it as it resonates but they're just saying keith so maybe Keith needs to pay close attention to this reading. If it's not, if that name does not resonate in any way, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. They're just indicating that whoever it is for needs to pay close attention. But it's a very peaceful relationship, no drama. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can get uh, a little bit more about this uh, person who's coming in, uh, what to expect from this person, and uh, or what to expect in general. Uh, one more. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Justice. 
okay? A balanced relationship, someone who is right for you, the love that you truly deserve, okay, Taurus? This is a beautiful energy and uh, it's a Libra energy, so they may also have Libra placements, but it's cause and effect. This person will affect your future and they'll be very truthful, okay? This person is, you know, very wise. Um, this person... Oh, this person, I feel like this person is one of those people who go out and they want justice for the world. They like uh, fighting people's corner. They are really, um, oh, they're just so kind and they, they may even do volunteer work and stuff like that. I feel very much like this person um, cares about the environment. Um, they seek, they search and speak the truth. This person is very sort of above board and kind of like, very balanced. Also, there's an energy here that this person may work within the justice system in some way. I don't mean this person's a, a cop or anything like that. Uh, I just mean that they may uh, do some sort of work within, uh, you know, they may work uh, in a law firm or something that is, um, you know, for human rights or something like that. I feel like this person's really kind of like um, for the people and sort of determined to make the world a better place. I also feel like this person has learned a lot of lessons as well. They don't take people for granted. Uh, they're very fair. They're equal. Um, and they, they're they're just a beautiful, a beautiful human. And you finally deserve some beautiful love coming your way. So that is what is coming your way. It will be after mid-March. I have to give it to you like that. That's what they're giving me here. Okay. Uh, they're also saying the name Francis. Francis. Okay. So either your name is Francis or someone's name is Francis. Um please uh, take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everybody, but that's what they're indicating. Now, next I'm going to be doing a uh, reading for, uh, sorry, they're just showing me someone as well. Uh, I feel like someone is, ha uh, before I move on to that, uh, they're showing me someone who's having like a, a coffee, some sort of beverage or something. It seems to be a hot beverage, but also they're having like, um, oh gosh, what are those things called? Uh, they're not like a muffin. Well, they are kind of like a muffin, but it's like a, some sort of crumpet or something. Okay, it's like a, it's not really like a toast or anything, but it, it's one of those sort of muffins that have got like holes in it. Uh, if that's you with some butter, I feel like it's with butter. If that's you, then there's something in this message for you. It's not gonna be for everybody, but that's what they're giving me. Now I'm just gonna go and do uh, one for singles who are, well, people who are separated from somebody that they are hoping to reconnect with, okay? Let me see what's going on in that relationship. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? Those of people who are, oh my gosh. You know what I've been finding, because I've been sort of trialing this, um, uh, this way of reading for a little bit before I've done it. Um, and I found that people who are single in looking for, uh, and those who are separated from a relationship often get similar cards. So we got the Empress again. Okay, Taurus, so again, gaining that confidence in that power within, self-assurance, um, very much sort of like, oh, we also got La Force, and we got the High Priestess. So breaking the chains to the past, uh, taking back that inner confidence. Also, um, you know, the Force is um, the Strength card, so that's about self-love as well, so I feel like you're in the same sort of mindset as Pile One, um, but there's definitely uh, an energy here of um, strength endurance but also breaking the chains anything that was holding you back including all those illusions i feel like you're getting your mojo back and being really confident also we have the high priestess so something coming to light someone telling you how they feel perhaps this person um you know there's some sort of secret coming your way regarding this person I feel like you may have mistrust this person. Um, there may have been something that uh, you felt was off, but you're using your intuition. And I feel also that um, you know your feelings for this person and you know what needs to change or not change. There's wisdom, a lot of wisdom in this situation, but I feel like the main wisdom is self-love. So I feel like there may have been some sort of... Um, the lesson to learn here for you and this person, this may be even twin flame, um, the lesson for you and this and this person was to learn uh, to love yourself fully before you can love another because I feel like this person does not love themselves and as a result uh, projected their feelings of low self-worth into the relationship and may have um, damaged the relationship in some way. Now let me see how you feel about it. Temptation. Okay, so that's the devil card again. We're getting uh, the same sort of energy here, Capricorn. So... Um, the addictions in the cycle, uh, some sort of toxic energy or obsession. I feel like this person may be even obsessed with you. Um, they're showing me the key. There's a key in this. So again, 
there was something to do with a key and the necklace as i was being shown earlier a necklace with a key around it so they're really indicating the key to unlocking this relationship is to address the addictions address the uh, obsessions uh yes there's a lot of sexual lust within this relationship but you need to work out if this is a karmic relationship or whether this is um a toxic relationship i mean what is the challenge because um, if you are both obsessed with each other and, uh, you know, there is a, an energy here of temptation, um, I mean, this is not sustainable, okay? So I have to give it as I'm getting it. The, there we go. We got healing. This, uh, this is the hope card, the star card. So the, the challenge here is healing the addictions, healing the toxic energy within the relationship. Uh, we could be dealing with twin flame here. Um, healing abandonment issues or something like that. Um, there's also a lack of confidence sometimes in this relationship. It's almost like it gets started and then someone resists the, the love or resists the relationship and then it throws the relationship back into turmoil. So I feel very much like there's confusion. This person leaves you with like uh, an energy of confusion. Are we a thing? Are we making this work? Is this happening? This is not happening? A test of faith. It's almost like swinging energy between serenity, hope for the future and a renewal of your love for each other. And then all of a sudden uh, there's confusion and maybe someone ghosts. I feel like this person is a, a ghoster. They kind of like drop out of the connection. Um, but there's a lot of addictions here. Okay. So this person, there needs to be healing in this relationship before it can even move forward. And the base of the problem is um, low self-worth. And uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Truly grateful. Okay. So what is coming? Heart chakra. Wow. Two fours. Pay close attention to your reading. We've got synchronicities. When we get synchronicities, there's change of foot here. Now the heart chakra needs to be opened. Someone is resisting this, the heart space. Someone is denying their feelings when it comes to love here. And it's out of protection. It's a, a fear of being vulnerable, a fear of opening up to that wonderful, beautiful love. And I feel like, um, intuition is important here, but there's emotions coming to the surface. I feel like Taurus, this person um, has denied the depth of feeling for you in this situation. And I feel like their heart chakra was closed for a while, uh, but it is opening up. There is change here. This person is breaking ancestral. They're just giving me ancestral wounding. Okay. That has been passed on to them. They're trying to break a cycle here. So we could be dealing with twin flame. Um, but uh, as we got here as well, foundations and achievements, we got the four of wands. So this is the halfway to marriage card. So this indicates either you and this person um, w w will be stepping into uh, some sort of reunion because uh, Four of Wands is a reunion card as well um, for uh, coming back to sort of create some sort of higher level of commitment and that you will both be on the same page, but it requires that heart chakra to be opened. Now I'm just going to go and get a, a, a clarifier for this, but they're indicating foundation and achievements. You and this person need to have a conversation. There needs to be a stronger foundation put in play with this relationship and there will, ooh, that's quite a lot. There will be a brighter future, uh, but there, there needs to be a conversation. Oh, Ace of Swords in reverse, no conversation. They're indicating there, ne there, there hasn't been like an honest, open discussion about um, how each other feels. And this person may have even, you know, there's just this denial, this person not speaking up. You may not even be speaking to this person at the moment. Um, and they're indicating that uh, we got a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, for the time period I've set, Queen of Cups, uh, oh gosh, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords in Reverse, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so they're indicating the separation here. Um, we got the Knight of Pentacles in the Reverse. So this person did not invest fully in the relationship. This per It was one-sided, okay? And this person, um, I mean, the two Knights are on the table for a reason. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to pull another... Uh, sort of card here to clarify this, but it's almost like this person withdrew their energy and their love. Uh, they had unrealistic expectations of you. And I feel like you may have done the same thing. It's almost like Taurus, as soon as they withdrew, you withdrew bigger. Okay. You put up your boundaries and, uh, but you gave so much love. Queen of Cups there. There is a lot of love in this. Uh, now 
I feel like you've been very nurturing um, and open with this relationship. Tried to heal it and support it as much as you could. But there's only so much you can do when someone's not talking to you or not investing. So it looks like, you know, you're having to protect yourself with that seven of wands. Uh, this is an energy as well. You may have felt like uh, this person put you in a third party situation. Um, we haven't got a three there, but I'm just feeling it. Um, again, if it's not there, it may mean that it was only a suspicion. Uh, so I will clarify that, as I said, but we got a nine of swords in reverse. There is hope here, okay, but you needed to recover from this. You and this person need to recover from the damage that this did and the separation before there is uh, hope there. The Ten of Pentacles indicates, you know, uh, the separation, um, you know, the conflict, the loneliness. Uh, this person, I'm just going to see how this person is feeling. They said new deck, sorry. Uh, how is this person feeling and you know what are their actions towards you because they have to open their chakra the, the, their heart chakra and they have to um it looks like they do want to come back towards you now let me see we got a knight of wands it's in the upright so we got player energy i have to give it to you as i'm giving it so um, we got here someone, um, they, they are very passionate about you, but it looks like Page of Wands, there is also someone new coming on in to talk to you, okay? Now you may have a choice here between uh, someone who is player type energy that has been in and out of your life and somebody new, but feelings are gonna be revealed. We got the Moon card, so you're gonna find the truth of the situation. Also, they're indicating that that player type person, I feel like, they're going to reveal some feelings for you. They did not expect to get feelings for you. Um, just let me clarify that. Four of Cups. Yeah, they want a new start with you. The full card. I'm just going to get that other card as well. One moment, please. Yeah, so we got a Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So yeah, I feel very much like there is going to be, there's going to be an offer of two. One person is new and someone is from your past okay the person that you're separated from there is a new start here just be mindful that they've got the right intentions because uh, the full card indicates they do want a new start with you they do want to uh, sort of take a leap of faith with you uh, but there's fear here for this person they're kind of um commitment issues uh, you know they have to address that because this person is kind of transitory they're in and out they get bored easily but i feel like they're coming on in to talk we got uh, the four of cups Another four for you, uh, which is in reverse. This indicates a new direction. This person wants to change. They do. And they do want to invest. We got a Knight of Pentacles here in the upright. So um, someone coming towards you that is, they want to invest in a solid future with you. Um, but I feel like there's two options here. I feel like there's one um, that you've been dealing with that finds it difficult to overcome um, sort of either some sort of substance abuse or their patterns of doing things, uh, you know, being a solitary single energy. Um, now let's see, just let's see what's the overall outcome here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide me regarding overall outcome? Intuition, so yeah, this is in the solution position. So uh, intuition, they're going to reveal. Um, there is some sort of secret that comes to light here, but they're unlocking the door, okay? You and this person are, there is a bond between you, like a psychic bond. Uh, we got seven of pentacles there, so it is savable. Okay, when you say seven of pentacles, we got two sevens coming out as well. Okay, so in more synchronicities. So what they're indicating, when you get a seven of pentacles, this person wants to save this relationship. They do want to build a solid foundation for the future. There's two pillars there, okay? But it needs to be a solid foundation that's built between you because otherwise it will not stand the test of time or the weather, you know, whether the environment, you know, we got rain, we got hail, we got uh, snow, we got sun. This, per this person um, needs to set th those foundations. So with patience and hard work, yes, this relationship is savable and it can work. There will be a bit of waiting. In the meantime, there will be a new person who does come on in to uh, tell you how they feel about you. Uh, the crown chakra is wide open. So again, we got this crown chakra Taurus, same like the singles who are, you know, not even thinking about the person in the past anymore. Um, so there is a deep knowing about you and a person. Um, I feel very much like there is a lot of love to come towards you, um, but it requires getting over um, this toxic pattern that you may have been in with this person and they need to open their heart chakra and stop denying their feelings. Um, 
Sorry, they just said one more, so I'm going to give it. Thank you so much for it, guys. But angels, can you please guide my beautiful Taurus? What do they need to know? Uh, just to let you know as well, for those of you who do not like how I'm working at the moment, I'm only doing it to shake it up just a little bit. The star is healing. Okay, so yeah, this can be healed. And you and this person will move towards... The, they're basically saying the challenge is the star card, the light, the hope. Okay, so the challenge is healing this relationship healing the toxic cycle and, um, you know, uh, stepping towards a brighter future. This is miracles can um, work. Stars are aligning for you and this person to heal. It will take time, Taurus. This is not an overnight stick a bandage on it and it's going to be fine. OK, so just to let you know, but it can be healed. OK, I, as I was saying, for those of you, that's the end of that one. I'm going to go on to the couple's um, relationship now. Um, for those of you who are not liking the way that I'm working, I'm just shaking things up for that snow moon that's coming up, um, which is new beginning. So I wanted to shake up the energy for me as much as for you. So, um, you know, some people are like, I don't like the longer messages. So I thought I'd break it up into piles um, and just try something new there. Um, but I will be going back to my usual way of working next month. Um, so let's get to the couples who are looking for um, something to describe their relationship at the moment. Perhaps you're going through a tough time or perhaps you're having a great old time. Uh, let's see the dynamics. Oh, look at that. Straight away we got the lover's card. So you and this person are partnered up, soulmates perhaps even. You may be even questioning it though because this is the choice card. This is Gemini energy, but we're talking about deep love. There is a lot of love here for you and this person, but it feels like there's something missing. Oh, we got the tower, okay? So there is definitely some sort of uh, shake up within your relationship. Disruptive energy. Um, I feel like there's transformation though, uh, for the better, because it feels like maybe you and this person are trying to keep it fresh. And you know, when you're with each other for a while, Taurus, uh, there is an indication that sometimes we can take it, um, you know, take each other for granted. And you may have felt like it got stale or um, there's an energy here that you want to shake up the status quo. You want to, you know, inject something new into the relationship. The tower indicates though something may have come from nowhere for you and this person to um, experience some sort of change. So if, for example, when you get a tower moment, it's not like the end of the world. It's not like your whole, whole world's crumbling. Um, it feels very much like you may be trying to make a decision on something and you're sitting on the fence. It, a, a lightning bolt comes from the universe, for example, and nudges you off the fence so that you come out of your comfort zone. So if you and this person have got stuck in a rut, there's something that's coming to the surface to shake up your energy. And you may not have expected it. Um, it may be something like a new job. Let's go and see what it is. It could be a new job where you both have to relocate somewhere. It could be that you and this person are deciding to implement a new routine. But we got the lover's cards that indicates choice. So you may be even wondering whether you want to separate from this person for a while um, because, you know, you you feel like um, you want to find your own identity again. When you get the tower, it's often a paradigm shift. It takes away something to replace it with something better. So um, let's see how you're feeling in this moment. Okay, so discontent, boredom. So definitely the same energy that I'm picking up in the reading. Uh, you're feeling fed up. Four of Cups energy is apathy, you know, feeling unfulfilled, you know, maybe stuck in a rut. If you're, you know, like everybody else, some people are locked down in this pandemic. Some people are like just living their day to day trying to get by. But it feels like routine has become it's taken the sparkle out of life. OK, and I feel very much like if you're indoors with your person and you're working from home and you're like, oh, my gosh, I see your face 24 seven. And although I love your face and I married your face or I'm in a high level commitment with your face, still it's your face. And I just would like to get out there and do different things. And, you know, when people have got, um, you know, they see each other all the time, they eventually run out of things to say to each other. Right. Uh, so I feel like, uh, especially if you're not being able to go out and take action in the world and do things like, oh, hey, yeah, I just met the boys the other night and he told me this and I met the girls the other night and we all went da out and did this. It feels like, oh, what is, you know, how can we shake this energy? But there is something, there is a surprise coming when you get a four of cups. Often the universe comes on in with a surprise to shake up the energy. Um, so in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot, uh, Four of Cups, a person is sitting by a tree, arms folded, fed up, three cups spill out on the floor. And then a cloud comes along with a hand and it gives you another cup that you're not expecting that is emotionally fulfilling. So it's almost like, what can we do to shake up this energy? Now, what's the challenge? Positive movement forward, okay? Eight of Pentacles. Mastering yourself, having your own identity, uh, sort of, um, you know, 
of having your alone time, but also at the same time moving forward towards a brighter day and implementing some sort of change or travel or something like that. It feels very much like, um, you know, there's a lack of focus or ambition within this relationship. It's almost like um, losing your mojo and trying to remain positive at the same time. So it feels like you and this person will try and repair, um, you know, this relationship. If you're feeling like a, a lack of like a mojo, as it were, um, within this. And I feel like very much um, that it will work out for the better. Awareness. Okay. So this is what is, um, what is coming towards you. You and this person are very connected on a very deeper level, but you're manifesting new beginnings, okay? This is, you know, awareness is the magician card. Focusing your creativity to turn your visions for the future into reality. So you and this person may be planning a vacation, for example, or planning something to do after all this madness is sort of blown over. There's definitely an energy here of trying to, um, you know, implement new skills, so, for example, you may be taking online courses and things like that, um, or, you know, finding the confidence within the relationship again, taking action to really shake up the energy. Um, but also, I feel like there's accomplishment, sharing each other's accomplishments and really celebrating each other. Um, awareness, this is an energy where, um, how can I put that? Um, it's like you're reminded that whatever it is you're trying to manifest within this relationship, it will manifest perfectly within your relationship. Uh, it's just about remaining aware um, to not just your needs, but to others' needs as well, which sometimes when we're feeling discontented, it's hard, okay? Now, let's see what the overall outcome is. Sacrifice. Uh, and this is the hangman card. So waiting. It's a waiting game, okay? There's a lot of wisdom within this waiting game. I mean, we're all experiencing um, a world that we've never experienced before. So, for example, you know, we can't just go out and take a flight and just head off to Honolulu and just have a great old time. I mean, some people can and have been. Uh, I, you know, I've seen these people doing it online, but not everybody's taking that, um, you know, route to do that. But there's definitely an energy here of feeling stuck in the mud and waiting, you know, that waiting in action time. And, it, you know, sometimes it's very frustrating. But there is, um, you know, a different perspective. When you get the hangman, there's an energy here of um, there is a surrender to it. Okay, there will be a new brighter day. As you can see, the rainbow is just popping right out there. And um, there will be a renewal. Uh, there's all those clouds and they're in the shape of, uh, you know, springtime flowers. So there will be, I feel right about, uh, mm, actually, they're giving me mid-March. There will be movement for you. Okay, I'm just going to see what that is. There will be movement. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Woo! I'm loving that energy. Two of Wands, okay? So you're waiting for some sort of results to be able to travel. The Two of Wands is about, you know, uh, making those plans to travel somewhere, surveying uh, the lay of the land, as it were, and then making, um, you know, some sort of choice in order to move forward. So I feel like definitely uh, there is uh, plans afoot, or you're making those. We got the Tower in reverse. So look at that. You got the tower there, tower in reverse. You know, it's almost like you're saving this relationship um, by injecting something new there. Um, disaster is averted. There, there's no need to fear the change because it will not crumble your relationship. It just uh, will strengthen it and actually um, um, enlighten you and this person. Um, Seven of Wands, I feel like you're protecting your relationship there, um, maintaining boundaries, um, but I feel very much like... Um, yeah, I feel like you'll be your your personal best. Seven of Wands is an energy of protecting your position and being your personal best, you know, and maintaining those boundaries. They've asked me to go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please? They just give me fight or flight, fight or flight. Uh, but I've just actually really thought about that, and you know, fight or flight kind of means like feel the fear and do it anyway. But actually, uh, in relationship to the energy of this reading, I'm getting fight or flight. It's like, it's like you're confined to your home and you're seeing each other day to day. Maybe small things like the light switch. I don't know why they're showing me the light switch. Um, the light switch being on and then someone else turning it off to save electricity and someone else like, well, I can't see. Or I feel like there's just little things like that. They're like uh, getting a little bit. Um, so please take that as it resonates. But they're indicating, you know, fight or flight. It's like... We need to get away. We need to have a vacation. We need to actually take a flight on an airplane or something away to stop fighting, okay? Uh, to just refresh the energy. And we have the Four of Swords. So rest, okay? Rest, recover, you know, just retreat. Have some alone time. Um, it actually brings you back to center and brings a lot of peace, 
okay? So difficult, um, but uh, very important. A lot of fours in your reading as well. Uh, we got, uh, but yeah, we got two fours as well, uh, but we did have fours in the other um, sort of energies that came up for Taurus. Now I will leave that there because they've asked me to, but it looks like you and this person are going to um, have some sort of travel or movement after mid, no, I'd say from mid-March into, uh, yeah, and onwards. So you may be planning this. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, I will leave that there. I'm just gonna give you any uh, sort of advice from Spirit. Um, thank you so much, Spirit guys, great angels. Any advice for my beautiful Taurus overall? Time for a nap, just rest and ride it out. Okay, so um, 24 when you reduce it, two plus four is uh, six, which is the number of love. Um, also, there's an energy here of being shrewd. As you can see, there's nothing you can do in this situation right now. It's a time of inaction. So uh, the best thing to do is um, sort of love yourself um, and you know be shrewd. Take the time out to have that rest before the world gets back to normal again. We got all those stars for healing and uh, the moon is to shed any illusions um, in order to uh, be ready and have some sort of renewal. I'm just going to um, read from the book as I don't want to tell you anything wrong there. 24. Rest, rejuvenation, non-action. Okay, relationship message. When it comes to matters of the heart, don't make any plans right now. If you're not partnered, it's a good time to take time out to get to know yourself. If you're involved with someone, relax and just be with your partner. This is good and it's going to be an uneventful moment in time. So don't force anything now. Allow the things to flow naturally and a beautiful renewal will take place all by itself. Patience is the key to your heart's desire now. So withdraw from action in your relationship and give it a rest so that your love and connection can become rejuvenated. Okay, completely clarifies all three piles. I uh, love it when Spirit does that. I'm just gonna give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much Spirit guys, going angels. Can you please guide my beautiful, oh, we got peace. Wow, we got a peace sign. Beautiful energy. So there will be peace, rejuvenation, and when the world goes back to some sort of normal, there will be love and there will be travel and excitement again, okay? Um, so they're just giving me, they're just giving me the word after, after, after. So either you've just been reading something as you're listening to this reading and actually just read the word after, or um, you've just written the word after. Please take it as it resonates. Maybe you just watched something, it's called after something. So just give me the word after and it makes, makes no sense to me. So I have to leave it there, I'm afraid. I'm just going to put it right in the center for you, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. If something resonated in this reading, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. As I said, I will be going back to my usual way of working, but I just thought I'd check it up for this reading. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurus. Love and light.